a very, very, very important thing to consider when you're gonna do intermittent fasting or longer fasts. Everyone talks about drinking water while you're fasting, but I thought about it and most of us are chronically dehydrated. A lot of us are very dehydrated, some of us are slightly dehydrated, but if you're starting a fast at a point where you're slightly dehydrated, it's like you're already behind and you're trying to get caught up while you're fasting, which is when your body needs even more water. So please consider drinking a lot of water before you're gonna start a fast. So I would say a week or at least a few days before doing a long fast or intermittent fasting, make sure you're drinking a lot of water, right? I carry this with me everywhere I go. I keep refilling this with spring water and I add a little bit of sea salt for the minerals. So make sure at least three days before long fast that you're drinking, so calculate your body weight in pounds, half of your body weight in ounces of water at least, all right? It sounds like a ton of water, but you get used to it when you add a little bit of minerals to the water, you're not going to the bathroom all day because <laughs> I used to go through that challenge of having to pee all day long. But when you add the minerals, your body kind of absorbs the water better. I think it uses it better so you're not, everything's not going out, right? And um, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you so that you get the benefits of that. and. To get the most out of your fasting experience, get the most out of whatever goal you're trying to fast for, whether it's detoxing the body or whatever it might be, but the water, the, the body functions better when you're hydrated. So before starting a fast, remember, please, please, please remember. All right, more tips on fasting coming soon, so stay tuned.